Alright, I want to show you something really cool. It's called Insert Select. What Insert Select allows us to do is it's kind of a technique in MySQL, and I think other SQL languages have this as well, that let you insert a bunch of rows based off of a select statement. So let's paint a picture here of why you might want to use this. Let's take an example. Say we have user permissions as our table. User permissions holds a permission for every video that a user has access to. So every time a user wants to be able to view a video, it has to have a permission in this table. Okay? So let's say now that we're selling groups of videos as a kit. Okay? So let's say someone buys a kit. So they would buy a kit like this, which has videos that belong to a kit. What I what the task is now is that I need to insert these two rows, okay, into the user permissions table. Alright? So the only way to do that without, well, the, there's two ways, I'm going to show you the way to do it, but the only other way to do it is to do it in PHP, where I would first have to get the tutorials and then insert into user permissions. So I would have to go uh, select tutorial ID from kit videos, where uh, kit ID equals one, right? So that would give me that would give me the IDs and then in PHP so so I'll write you know in PHP I would have to uh, go ahead and run a loop to create a bunch of inserts and I have to go insert into user permissions um, and I would want user ID comma uh, tutorial ID okay tutorial ID, right? So I would need to have that, and then I would say values, and then if, again, I would be, I would be running a loop now because I would need to store my user ID two four nine nine five and the first one, which is one eighty eight, and then comma, and then another one two four nine nine five, comma one eighty nine. So this is I'd have to form this in PHP with a for loop and then execute it. So I've executed two statements, and I've had to run a loop way too much. We can actually do this all in one single call. Okay, so how do we do that? We're going to use insert into. So the way that we need to form insert into is we actually, we're going to have the same call, okay, but instead of values, we're just going to have the select statement, just like that. And that's the that's almost the whole call you need. There's a problem though. Let's um, if you see that each of these, so see that we're asking for user ID and tutorial ID. Well, we're only returning tutorial ID in our select statement. So you're like, oh, well, that's a stopping point. We really need this user ID. Where can I put it? Well, in SQL, you actually can just straight use a number as a column. So if you use a number as a column it actually doesn't try to select that column. So for example, if I select 24995 from here, and let me just run this, okay, you can see that it actually created a column called 24995, and so that's actually giving us both the user ID and the tutorial ID, just like we need. So now, insert into user permissions, it's asking for user ID, it's asking for tutorial ID, I'm selecting user ID and tutorial ID, and it's going to give me multiple rows back. But this one statement does all that work. So if I actually run this, you can see two rows affected. It actually added, It's and the user permissions table is huge, so I can't really show you, but it actually successfully added uh, both of these videos to my account. So there you go. That's how you can use insert into with select. So it's actually called insert select uh, to insert multiple rows based off a select statement.